In our first rule machine video, we set up a simple conditional rule. This was a simple if x happens, then do y. If you haven't watched that yet, please check it out. Today we're going to go deeper and explore a more advanced conditional rule, where if x happens, do y, but if z happens, do q. To demonstrate this, we're going to build a rule to turn on the fan in my man cave if the temperature in my man cave is more than 2 degrees greater than the outside temperature, and the temperature of the man cave is greater than 76 degrees. However, if the temperature in my man cave is equal to or less than the outside temperature, or the man cave temperature drops below 76 degrees, turn that fan off. Our finished product will look like this. Along the way, we're going to learn all about ifs and ands and elses and everything else. So buckle up kids, we're going on a rule machine adventure. All right, so we'll start by opening up rule machine and starting a new rule. We'll call this man cave fan. We'll select our trigger event. For this rule, we're actually going to select two triggers, the man cave temp sensor and the outdoor temperature. Now, because this rule has actions for when the temperature raises and lowers, we're going to select changed. So anytime the temperature changes on either sensor, this rule is going to check to see if it needs to take any action. So we're done with this trigger event. We have nothing else to add, so we're done with all trigger events. Now we'll select our actions to run. We'll select conditional actions, then under select which actions, we'll choose if conditions then. Notice the conditions is in parentheses. The conditions we choose below will go inside those parentheses. So looking at our rule, that is the portion that says, if the temperature in my man cave is more than two degrees greater than the outside temperature, and the temperature of the man cave is greater than 76 degrees. So under define condition, this is a new condition we're adding. We'll tackle sub expressions and not conditions in another video. So select new condition. For capability, select temperature. And for the sensors, just select the first part of this parenthetical, which is the man cave sensor. This action occurs when the temperature is greater than the outside temp. So select the greater than sign. We are comparing this to our outside temperature device, so yes, this is relative to a device. That device is our outdoor temperature sensor, so select that. And we want our fan to trigger when the temperature in the room is greater than 2 degrees higher than the outdoor temperature, so we will offset this by 2 degrees. And with that, we are done with our first condition. Now, we could end this here by clicking Done with Conditions, but we want to add another condition. The temperature of the man cave has to be greater than the outdoor temperature and it has to be above 76 degrees. So using this drop down, select and. We'll use the or option later in our rule. This X or option means when this or that, but not both. It's not really something you'll probably ever have any use for. And here's a good rule of thumb when using rule machine. If you don't know what something does, you probably don't need it. All right, so we selected and. Now we need to add the condition, which is and the temperature is greater than 76 degrees. This is a new condition, so click that. And we'll select the temperature capability. We're again looking at the man cave temp, so select that. And we're saying this is greater than 76 degrees, so no device comparison, just enter the number and click done with this condition. We've added all of our if statements, or conditions if you will, so hit done with conditional action. Our next action is pretty straightforward. You can see that our rule is being built in a linear fashion up here. So if this and this happen, then, and that's what we need to tell it now, then turn on the fan. So under select action type, select control switches, select turn switches on, then select our man cave fan. That's all we want to have happen under these conditions, so click done. If we wanted to turn on lights or change modes or blow an air horn when these conditions are met, we could add all those here now, but we're good. So we've told our hub what to do if the temperature in the room is two degrees more than the outside temp and above 76 degrees. But now we need to tell it what to do if those conditions are different than that. In other words, if something else happens. In our rule, that something else is if the temperature in my man cave is less than or equal to the outside temperature, or the garage temperature drops below 76 degrees, turn off the fan. This is known as an else if condition. To add an else condition, choose conditional actions. Under select which actions, you'll see we have a few more options than before. We want to choose else if because we're adding a new condition here. That means our rule might do nothing if neither the first condition nor this condition are met, and that's fine. This else option here allows you to choose an action that would happen automatically if the first conditions aren't met. But like I said, this is an else if condition that we want. In define conditions, we'll select new condition. For the capability, we again want temperature. 
Select the man cave sensor. Then select less than or equal to in the comparison. Yes, this is relative to another device and that device is the outdoor temperature sensor. No offset here, so click done with this condition. Now that's only the first part of the condition. Our rule says that if the man cave temperature is less than or equal to the outside temperature, or the man cave temperature is less than 76 degrees. So select or, then select new condition. Then under select capability, that's temperature. The sensor is the man cave sensor. And our comparison is less than 76 degrees. Then click done with our condition. That's it for the if part of our condition actions, so click done with conditional actions. Now all that is left to do is to tell the hub to turn off the fan if those conditions are met. So under action type, select control switches, select turn switches off, then select the man cave fan. Now we are done with this action. We're almost done with our rule. We're going to close out our rule by adding an end if statement here. An end if is only required for nested if statements, which we will tackle in a future video, but it's good to get into the habit of ending if thens with an end if. To add the end if, under select action type, choose conditional actions. Then in select which actions, select end if. Then click done with this action. Our new rule is now complete. Hit done with actions and make sure your rule is saved by hitting the done button here. That's it for this demo today. We will continue to explore Rule Machine deeper in future videos. Don't forget we have written documentation available at docs.hubitat.com and you'll always find friendly help in our online community at community.hubitat.com. Thank you for watching and thank you for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.